Hi, this is Spring with Spring Tyler Fitness, and today I'm going to show you a Mommy and Me workout. Mommy and Me workouts are a great way to spend time with the family while also getting a workout in. Today my assistant's going to be Isabella Teller. Hi. <laughs> Let's get started. Hi, ready to start? To start a Mommy and Me workout, I like to put 20 minutes on a timer. You can perform an exercise for 50 seconds with a 10 second rest, or you can just keep performing an exercise while you and your child are having fun. You can start with jogging in place, move on to high knees, and then perform A's and I's, otherwise known as jumping jacks. We also like to perform animal races. You can perform bunny hops. On your Get set. Go. Nice. All right, are you ready to be a frog? Frog jumps. Good. Good. Okay, ready to be a duck? Yeah. Do you remember how to do duck walks? Yeah. Duck walks. Quack, quack. Okay. Okay. Good. 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 Or let your child pick whatever they prefer. You can set up an obstacle course to perform your animal races or just pick a nice 10 foot pan. Next you can perform flamingo hops. Flamingo hops are great for improving balance. Just stand on one leg and hop on side to side. Another fun exercise are flamingo passes. Your child can toss a ball or roll the ball to you. Another great option is to roll a toy car or truck. Just be sure to change legs after every pass. Ready? Put the ball in the truck. Another great option are squats. You can hold your child, and here I perform a squat with a calf raise. You can perform regular squats or sumo squats. Another fun option is a baby carry. I like to race down the room, carrying my child, set her down, race back, and then go back and grab her. You can continue this for 50 seconds and then take a 10 second rest, or you can perform as many passes as they'll like. Next is a squat and press. Here I'm just doing the shoulder press without the squat. Ready? Next is a lullaby lunge. I love doing these before bed. I simply hold my sweet girl and then do a few lunges while I sing her a song. Okay. Next are ab kisses. Lay on the ground with your child on your legs, then tap your heels up and then bring your knees to your chest. And down. Up. Okay. Stand. And now you're going to sit on my hips. Next is a glute bridge. Let your child comfortably sit on your lap while you lift your hips up and down. Be sure to drive through your heels. Next are push-up kisses. You'll simply do push-ups over your child and give them a little kiss on every lowered motion. Ready? 
Yeah, get down. You want to face me? Next are mountain climbers. Mountain climbers are another great exercise to race and see who can go the longest. I like putting 50 seconds on a clock and then taking a 10 second rest. Then you can do touch the snow, touch the clouds, and see who can reach the highest. And then, oh, you're tired already. Let's do lateral raises, okay? This way. Next are fast feet. You can set up a stuffed animal five feet apart and then perform fast feats from one animal to the next. And under. Another fun option is crawling under the bridge. Let them crawl one or twice, one or two times, three or four times for a minute. Woo, go girl. Target. You got it. You can also change any children's activity into an exercise. We like to play Ring Around the Rosy, and every time we fall down, Mommy makes sure to do a nice deck squat. And we all fall. Finally, you can get your kids involved by letting them pick what they want to do. My daughter loves being a coach, so she often incorporates all of my exercise equipment and tells mommy exactly what to do. Next, high five. My turn. Have fun? Yeah. yeah. If you have any other questions about balancing family and fitness, you can reach me at springtellerfitness.com. Bye!